Hello, welcome back to Cozy Dragons, episode 6. I can't believe we're this far in. Last episode, we ended up decorating this area here with Halloween decorations. This episode, we're going for dragons, but we need to make an enclosure for them first. We're going to head down over there and show you. First of all, I'd like to clear out the area and then we're going to build into the wall. I'd like to have at least four enclosures for four dragons, just in case. I was thinking a Roman inspired building, but we need to clean up this area over here first. Let's get into the time lapse. Okay, now that the outside's all done, we need to do the inside. I need to hollow out this whole area here. I won't bore you with the whole process of hollowing it out. We'll just skip to the very end bit. So future me, editor me, clip this part out please. Just adding the final pieces of glass now. I chose blue stained glass just for a little bit of decorative flair. So each one should be able to hold a dragon. I can always make it bigger if I need to. And also I put gates in the back in case we can use leads. I'm not really sure at this point, so we'll see as we go. Let's go on an adventure to the swamp to go find some dragons. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Using nature's compass, I found a location. I'm just gonna mark it on this map with a beep or a waypoint so we don't get lost. There should be a rather big swamp, so a good chance of getting a few dragons. Hopefully we get a couple different colors as well. Let's set a temporary waypoint here so we don't get lost. That would be bad, getting lost in the swamp. Okie dokie, we're all prepared, I think. I have chicken, we have our nature's compass in case we get lost, and we have our spyglass to, to spot any wyverns from afar. So we should be good to go. And off on the waters we be going again. I can't wait to be able to fly. This is going to be so good. We seem to be interrupting some kind of turtle meeting here. We gotta remove the boat so they don't get stuck in there. What are you doing? Toodaloo! <laughs> Alright. We're just about there. I can see the swamp from here. Nice flower for us though. We will grab some of these on the way. There's always time to pick lily pads. You never know when you're going to make a pond and need them. Plus, these ones from Mizuno's pack are so cute. Ooh, mushrooms. Grab those too. There's so many different variations. They're so pretty. Ooh, what is this? That one looks cool. I heard a frog. I know that's not our purpose for coming here. But I think I'll grab a couple to breed when we get back home. We'll take a few to different areas to breed the different variants too. If I can catch this guy. I can hear you. Target number two acquired. Let's go catch this guy too. Then we'll have a breeding pair. Just gotta make sure I got my capture box on me. And gotcha. Woohoo! Our first wyvern spotted! You are beautiful. I like the brown ones. I've done a little bit of research and I know you need one or two stacks of chicken. So this may take a while. 
six hours later. Woohoo! Finally we got him! We will name you Morty, and you will be our friend. Now how to do this? I think you have to right click, and then put a saddle on while you're right clicked. With an empty hand, I think it is. Let's see. Nope, that way. Maybe that way. We'll figure it out. Oh, yay! Okay, good. Let's try out our first ride! So exciting! Woohoo! Woohoo! Ooh, you're a speedy feller! Let's see if we can take our first flight. I think you need to double. Yep. Oh, this is so cool. What a view from here! This has got to be the coolest thing ever in Minecraft. Maybe we'll fly around until we see another one. I see one just down below us. Hopefully our capture boxes work on these guys. So I'd like to keep some spares just in case. Hello. Yay, it worked! I will put you in safekeeping just in case. Don't want to accidentally free him one. We're not looking. Alright, Morty, let's go! I think he's stuck. Come on, Morty! Oh, no, he made it. Let's go, little buddy! This is so cool. I can't get over it. <laughs> we finally have a dragon! Look at that. How majestic. Alrighty, guys. Let's take our first flight home and get him safe in his stables. Hopefully we don't fall on the way. <laughs> See you guys there! While I was at the swamp, I found a green guy. We can call him Rick, so we have kind of a theme going on. We need to tame him though. Oh, he seems pretty happy about the chicken. Two hours later. Alright, now that he's tamed, we'll set him up with his own horn. That way they don't get confused with the same one. And we need to get a saddle on him because I want to take him on a trip. We haven't got tomatoes yet and I saw a village close to where the swamps were. So we'll take him for a little spin. Okie dokie, we're almost to the waypoint that I set. But I see there's a town right here we should go check out first. Maybe they'll have the tomatoes there and then we don't have to go as far. That would be awesome. Let's go check it out. I am loving the fact that we can fly there now instead of walking or boating. So convenient. And Rick is such a good flyer. Stay here, Rick. So cute. That's a good boy. Yes. Give you a pet for that. Good boy. Stay there. We're gonna check out what these villagers have too while we're in here. Maybe we'll get lucky with a plushie. Nothing so far. So the, I might steal this for later. <laughs> you never know if you're gonna need a cartographer. Lock the door when you leave. Huh. Oh, hello. Oh, I want a cow guy huh. for our house. Nothing good though. <laughs> this is the weirdest house. I'm glad they upgraded the Plains Villages though. Huh. Ooh. 
Ooh, some farm area. I think these ones here are tomatoes. Yes, finally, tomatoes. Woohoo! Okay, we're back home, but quick distraction time. I wanted to show you guys this Minecraft Dungeons mod armor. Look at that! They have all kinds of unique abilities, and this one's invisible. I think it'll come in handy if we end up going to the nether or something. Then we can just, boop, go invisible when they spot us. Just in case of danger. Oh, one more time. Boop! <laughs> That's so awesome. We can also use this for future sneaking needs. We'll just hang it up for now. But I can't wait to see what other enchantments and armors that this mod has to provide. I'm gonna definitely check out more. The only downfall to it is we're gonna have to make some ocelot farms and some goat farms and stuff because they use those kind of materials to start them. So that might be sad, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, for our next project I'd like to do a stonemason shop. That way we have some easy trades for all the cobblestone and stone we get from clearing out the other spaces. Next, we gotta gather some mushroom for uh, the roof of this one. There we go. Yeah, silk touch on this. Make it easier. Alright. So as you can see, I leveled out and made a little spot for the next house here. So let's run into the time lapse. Okay, that is done. We'll have to do all the decorating a little bit later on because right now we have something coming up. I drew a mustache. I did the face intentionally, by the way. <laughs> I think I'll add to it later, <laughs> make it even more funny looking. I think the mustache is a little too thin, so I'll just thicken it up a little bit here. <laughs> add to it. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll probably be building more complex buildings later on, but for now this one is good. You can tell what it is with all the stones outside of it. The area is good. Perfect. Good to go. Alright, our new arrival should arrive any minute. We should go meet her over at spawn. Let's go! Head over there. <laughs> oh, there she is now. Okay, let's go see if we can meet her up here. I hear her. Where's that oak tree? Hello. Hi. How did you get here? gravity. Does the world look different? <laughs> Last I saw you we were on in the Idrella world. Yeah, it smells different here. <laughs> That's the, the fresh it ocean like breeze. <laughs> oh, speaking of, here you go. Uh, I'll put it on the ground for you. I made you a care package. I had a feeling you'd show up. <laughs> I smell cherries. And 
I'm gonna show you back to my area here. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, what's this? I'm gonna put it on. Try crouching. Oh! <laughs> now I just see the bucket. <laughs> I am a floating bucket. Here you are. <laughs> I'm being attacked by a floating bucket. Run away! I can't come with me. <laughs> I have to call you Bucket. <laughs> and here is Bucket Face. Bucket. <laughs> yeah. You could have the achievement Bucket Bucket. Adventure time! What's this? Okay. Do you want me to share the coordinates? Sure. Okay. Um. There. I got a boat. You ready? Get in me boat! Should we sing shanties? Shanty over the sea La 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 Me and sister me <laughs> One eternity later What shall we do with the drunken sailor Early in the morning <laughs> Shave his belly with rusty razor Shave his belly with rusty razor Shave his belly with rusty razor Early in the morning That's horrible as we approach a wild sis in her natural habitat. I don't wanna hit you! <laughs> got her. Just keep eating! Ooh, I got glowstone dust. Swamp Wyvern! Spotted! It looks like a big fast one, too. Is it? Huh? If I get it? Yeah, oh, no. Get it, get it. Off on another tangent, we're trying to find some treasure in between. Maybe we'll be able to find a plushie or something in the treasure. That would be nice. So much easier to fly over to these places. Whoop -whoop. We'll meet Sis down here. She should be here soon. Alright. Yeah, right? Should be right about here. Found it! Oh, yes! A squid plushie! Woohoo! Now, all tangents aside, let's get to decorating this place. I already started a little bit. I got a little workshop started. We'll put a bed up here. All right, we're finally done. We're gonna add these guys. I'll give you a quick tour before we add them though. I added a bit more to the mustache, as you can see, and some eyebrows. 
<laughs> so it looks even funnier. Okay, let's go inside. I figured these guys are hardworking, so I made them like a workshop area. You can see they're making all kinds of stuff for us here. They have their instruction books and their books on how to do things, making bowls and all kinds of stuff. They have their little stone cutters here so they can make or use those whenever they need. Easy access. Then they have a nice couch and a bear trophy to lounge under. They have these lamps, which are really subtle lighting. I think this one keeps getting turned off by the button there. That's okay. Oh, and I put little cute curtains on everything. So cute. So then this is their bedroom up here. Lots of lighting, two beds for these guys. I'm gonna name them Rock and Tough. Kind of suiting to a mason shop, right? And of course, always gotta have the plushies. I like the camel beds too. Kind of goes with the whole theme. Yeah, so that's their house. Let's see if they like it. We will name them. This guy here, he kind of looks like he'd be a rock. And now, this guy, he already got his job. He looks like he'd be tough. Well, oh, that's all the time we have for today, unfortunately. We'll be back next time for more adventures. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it does help me out a lot. Also, share with your friends too. That's free and that helps as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Toodaloo! See you next time. Bye bye!